Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to use a substring block of Sketchware. Now this is substring block where we get substring from some position to some another position of a string. So here in the first square bracket we will enter a string then here we have to enter a number which is less than the length of string and here we have to enter another number which is more than the previous number otherwise it will show error so how to use this block now I'll just tell you that here any text is called a string so here suppose I enter my name okay now this text has seven characters seven characters okay and now if you I want to get the letter s from this for getting a let getting letter s i have to enter 0 here and enter 1 here so this will get the substring from position 0 to position 1 and that substring is s here and now suppose i want to get the second letter of this word then i have to enter 1 here and 2 at this place so this will get a from this word now suppose i want to get the last letter Since this word has 7 letters, I have to write 6 here and the last thing 7 here. So this will get the 6th character. Now the first character is, uh, the first position is 0, second one is, second position is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this way, substring 6 to 7 will get V and if I write substring 7 to 8, it will not get anything and even writing 7 to 7 will not get anything now suppose i want to get the complete word then i can simply write from 0 to 7 this will get me the complete word sanjeev and suppose i want to get only the first three letters then i have to enter here 0 to 3 and this will get me the first three letters s a n and if i if i want any two characters from between like triple like j double e then I have to write 3 here and then J double E so last will be 6 so this will get characters from 3 to 6 and it will get me J double E now how to use this in your sketchware project in your sketchware project suppose you have an edit text field and a button and a text view field now on clicking the button we will get a substring of edit text field in text view now on button click first we get the text from the edit text field and after that we set the text of text view field and so since we want to use this substring block we will set the text of text view field as substring of the edit text field from position 1 to 3 now this will get the second and third letters of the word Now here enter any word like D, F, G, H. Now here the second and third letters are F, G and answer should be F, G. So it's like this, it has for the second and third letters of this word. Now you can, since the text of ed edit text 1 is a string, you can use string block. A string variable to set edit text field now you can use the block s here so that it gets the text and instead of 1 and 3 we can use a number variable also like a 
and we have to set the number variable a to anything say 0 now here we have set the number variable a And on button click it will set the text from 0 to we can put a here and then we can increase the number a by 1 so what this will do is this will get the text of where edit text 1 from z position 0 to 0 that will be null and after that it will increase a by 1 so next time when we click the button 1 it will get the first character and then again it will increase by one so next time when we click button one it will get the first two characters now here we suppose i have you can enter anything elements now first time it will get nothing second time e then e l e l e m so in this way since the variable a is increasing and once it increased above the last letter it will the app will crash so you have to make sure that this word never gets above the length of string s okay that's all in this video thank you very much